it become difficult to call plays on night when you're having the protection and you know, blocking issues that you were having? Yeah, you know, we wanted to come out, start fast, was the plan. Uh, we had a chance to do that. We had some miscues early. Um, you know, we had a chance to put one on the board and make it 7-0 right out of the gate. We missed the opportunity, lost um, lost Strib right afterwards, and, and uh, when you find yourself behind, and, you know, we just couldn't establish the run quick enough. And, uh, you know, from there, it was kind of a, a mix of just trying to get back into the mix of the game, the fold of the game, and uh, we could never grab it back again. And uh, it just kind of snowballed from there. But. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of time left. And like I was telling the guys, you know, shoot, we're starting Big 12 play next week and the Big 12 championship is still in play. You know, getting to that game is still in play. So, and there's a lot of good football players in that locker room. Um, didn't show up today for whatever reason. I don't know that for sure, okay? But I do know this. They practiced their butts off all week long. Um, it was a great week of practice. It had no thoughts about, you know, a game looking like that tonight. Um, so... I'll go back see what's going on, um, but in a nutshell, I think I think we're going to be okay with it, and uh, not with necessarily the game, but I think we're going to be okay moving forward into Big 12 play, and um, I'm looking forward to it. The last two weeks, y'all have y'all have had uh, halftime adjustments, especially in the run game, especially you know really all, all over the offense. What did you kind of tell the guys today in the locker room to kind of come out and, and you know fix what happened in the first half? Well, <laughs> first of all, we didn't make very good halftime adjustments, but. But, um, you know, it was a little bit different because we were behind. You know, we're trying to play catch up. And whenever you get kind of one dimensional like that, it gets tough um, to sit there and hand the ball off an inside zone um, with the clock running down. With, you know, I mean, it gets tough and you're down a couple scores. So um, there's a little bit of that. You know, they played a bunch of cover two, and, and which they should in that situation and try and kill clock and just try and squeeze it out towards the end. And they got ahead, and, and that's kind of what happened. So um, as far as what I said in the locker room at that time was, you know, we were – kind of making some plays against ourselves, you know, um, shooting ourselves in the foot with penalties and um, with missed opportunities and drop passes and, you know, missed assignments and throws and stuff. So um, I'm really surprised about that with the way that we practiced. I do think we're going to bounce back fast. I don't think this is a lingering thing. We've got a great group of kids, and, and uh, it's one of the best groups I've coached in a long time and, and around here, you know, just the attitude and everything is great. Um, so it was disappointing from, from that regard. Ordinarily, you guys are so good not getting penalties. What do you think the difference was tonight in that department? Wow. Uh, you know, we got them everywhere. We got them in, in passing situations. We got them in running situations. Uh, hell, I've got I've to look at that. If I could pinpoint that right now, I'd tell you. i got nothing to hide, but I just I just can't say, you know, this is the problem. Um, certainly, we've got to work on that and address it in practice, and I'm sure Coach will come up with something creative uh, to try and address that issue. We had it a couple of years ago, maybe 20 18 or somewhere in there that we had some penalties going against us, you know, and and uh, then we started talking about discipline and toughness and the discipline aspect being with penalties, the DAT, you know, you see that everywhere. Uh, that's kind of where that started was, uh, you know, about five years ago and we had some issues with penalties. So uh, I'm sure he'll come up with something in that regard and we'll fix it. You guys weren't able to get Brennan involved in the first half. Were they kind of keying on him? What was the issue there? No, it's not that. We just didn't have the right opportunity. You know, there were things we want to get him the football. We definitely want to give him the football. Um, you know, it just was never the right situation, never the right spot, never the right timing. Um, you know, we were trying to get some, some run game going. There's some spits. When they cover you down and top you like that, uh, the opportunities to spit the ball on the perimeter aren't there. And we knew it coming in, which is fine. But we've got to be able to run the ball in that situation, you know, or push the ball down the field. Um, so if you're playing a loaded box, which is what they are, they're a plus one box, cover you down. You either have to run the ball effectively, read zone effectively, if you can do that, and then push the ball down the field. You're not going to have intermediate and quicks and all that. You need to get the ball down the field um, you know, with play action and big shots and things like that. And we took our shot and didn't make the play. Um, then you get behind, and those things that you think are going to carry you through the game with play actions and shots down the field, you really don't have that opportunity. Um, because now they're just playing cover two, so it's not really the same game. Now you got to run the ball, and you just you run out of time. Um, so that's where we were. But uh, we definitely want to get the ball to Brennan. During the scoring drive, y'all kind of uh, made some adjustments on the offensive line, moved some guys around, pulled some guys out. What went into that decision, and, and you know what did you see from the offensive line in the second half? Well, I think Charlie's trying to figure out you know exactly who it is that's playing the best and playing hard, you know, um, and and that's really what happened. Um, so as far as the offensive line is concerned. Uh, with Charlie, I'm sure that's what he's trying to do is just figure out like we're doing with the quarterback position, you know, who's the guy, 
Um, who's going to be in that position? Who's going to take responsibility? Um, who's going to make the play when his number's called? You know. And uh, but the drive was a good drive. You know, it's one single thing that we did right tonight, um, and uh, and we were able to cap it. You know, I just I didn't think we finished well the rest of the way though. We had some opportunities in there, and obviously more penalties kind of piled up. And when you get that and you're behind the sticks as much as we were, then it's really tough. You're, you're behind and you're behind the sticks, you know, so not good. Casey, with those scripted plays at the beginning of the game with, with Allen, it looked like he's in a decent rhythm and threw that ball to, to Bray that, that maybe could have gone for six. Um, was it frustrating to see another drop if, after you guys had kind of corrected that? Damn right it is. No question, you know, and I know it kills him too. Um, so, but we've got to get through that. We've got to get by it. I got to find a way to convert the third down, you know, and move on from there. But, as you know, in the situation we're in, playing a good football team, we knew they were good, um, and that is a good team. Um, that we've got to come out and make those kind of plays, and, and uh, you know, we've got to get creative and find ways on third down to, you know, cover up a mistake or cover up a penalty or cover up a drop, and and um, you know, we just got to get that done. So it's all of us included.